Have you ever thought about where your thoughts come from? Are they really yours? Or are they like habits that have been around for a while? Sometimes, thoughts of jealousy, competition, or fear can pop up out of nowhere, making us feel uneasy and even disrupting our sleep. Let's break it down a bit. Think of your thoughts like visitors, some are welcome and some just show up without an invitation. Thoughts of jealousy or fear, for example, can be like unexpected guests that catch us off guard. It's like when you're trying to relax, maybe even in bed at night, and suddenly thoughts start buzzing around in your head. They might not be the most pleasant, like worries or comparing yourself to others. Ever experienced that? These thoughts, it turns out, might not be entirely ours. They can be patterns or habits that we've picked up from the world around us, kind of like tunes we've heard so often that they start playing in our heads. Imagine a story. There's a guy who gets hit by an arrow. Now, instead of just pulling it out, he's curious about where it came from, who shot it, and why. The big lesson here is that instead of going on a wild goose chase about where the suffering or the arrow started, it's better to concentrate on making the pain go away. The arrow in the tail symbolizes any kind of suffering our minds create. Now, let's dive deeper. Consider the idea of the collective mind. A bunch of thoughts in our heads isn't just our personal collection. It's like there's this big, shared space of thoughts that everyone on the planet contributes to, a bit like an energy field. These thoughts, imagine them as bubbles, aren't just hanging out individually. They float around in this shared pool. And when one of these thought bubbles connects with us, it can become stronger. Think of it this way. Your thoughts, my thoughts, and everyone else's thoughts aren't just doing their own thing. They're all part of this big shared web of thoughts, kind of like how bubbles in a bubble bath all contribute to the overall frothiness. When one of those bubbles, or thoughts, connects with us, it's like it gets a boost and becomes more noticeable. Let's talk about identification, which means feeling really connected to our thoughts and emotions. Sometimes we get super attached to what's going on in our heads, letting those thoughts and feelings have a big influence on us. But here's the thing. These thoughts and emotions aren't exclusive to us. They're something everyone goes through. Think of it like this. You know when you watch a movie and you feel really into it, almost like you're one of the characters? That's kind of how we treat our thoughts and emotions. We get so involved, it's like they're part of us. But here's the scoop. These thoughts and feelings aren't like our personal property. They're more like things that happen to all of us as humans. It's like sharing a common experience. So even though it feels like these thoughts are ours, they're really just part of what everybody goes through. While thoughts are inevitable, our relationship with them matters. Through meditation and self-knowledge, we can dance with the mind instead of being dominated by it. True freedom comes when we recognize that we are more than our thoughts and emotions. We are pure consciousness, the silent observer. The collective mind is influential, but we have the ability to choose which thoughts we allow to influence us. By understanding the ephemeral nature of thoughts and recognizing our true essence, we can walk toward enlightenment and spiritual awakening. Behind the tumult of thoughts, there is a silence, the key to understanding the vastness of our true nature. Have you ever wondered who is the observer, noticing thoughts passing through your mind? This observer is your true essence, your pure consciousness, connecting you to all living beings and the universe itself. Thoughts are like waves, but you are more than your transient thoughts. Many seekers get lost in the labyrinth of the mind, forgetting that the labyrinth has a center. Anchoring yourself in the center through mindfulness, observing your thoughts without attaching to them, brings serenity and clarity. Return to the inner space of silence and observation, and you'll find the answers you seek. May the inner light guide your way, and may eternal peace dwell in your heart. The journey continues to enlighten your spirit.